Uh, was his newspaper burnt? Yes, that night that they came in and drug uh, my great grandfather's partner out of the newspaper office, they burned down the newspaper, uh, the office, and all of the papers and all the possessions and all of the files were burnt in that fire. So we don't have any any historical data left for the free speech, but. My great-grandfather is um, listed in the First Baptist Church uh, booklets on who were the Southern Baptist ministers at that time. And he's also mentioned in Ida B. Wells' uh, books about her. So uh, his name, Taylor Nightingale, lives on. What was the name of the newspaper? The Free Speech. The Free Speech newspaper. So you became an activist at 18? Yeah, I was actually an activist before 18 <laughs> uh, because I was trying to organize people in Venice at the time to become our own advocates against the uh, police department so that we would begin to do the things that we needed. We knew that we needed to do for ourselves without someone coming in telling us what to do. Um, and so when we had the opportunity for the, uh, to the grant, uh, Bob Castile came to me and he said, you're always talking to me, so can you put some of that to paper? And I remember all I had was some lined school paper. <laughs> and I, I remember I wrote it actually in red ink, which I don't know what had any meaning, but that was the only pen I had at the time. And um, we put it together and submitted it. And I was shocked that it got funded, but at the same time, because they were really wanting to to provide the money to quell any potential um, of violence, uh, it was just for the summer. But fortunately, because our program was successful, we got funded again. And um, this funding was for a year. So Project Action continued to be funded over the next 15 years and is responsible for the building of the uh, low-income buildings that are in Venice uh, today, although they have become market-rate buildings, but for many, many years, um, low-income people who had um, didn't have jobs where they made a lot of money, um, but we provided uh, those um, facilities for them. Unfortunately, now they are, for the most part, market-rate, and a lot of people can't afford to live there anymore.